What's up everybody, Kocho Global here and welcome to the channel. My previous post I talked about relationship and the underlining thing I said in it was that there's nothing like intimate relationship, family relationship, romantic relationship. Relationship is just relationship, it's just one thing and it cuts across the diversities. That is how we dispense it. That is why we will term it as romantic relationship, family relationship, whichever kind of relationship we are in. But relationship is just relationship. And today, I want to talk about the principle of a relationship. I've asked some questions and check why some relationships doesn't work. Why some people turn sideways and why, why that and that happens. And I've come to understand that there's just one principle. I miss the other principles. There's the one principle that that once we pay attention to it and work with, it will help our relationships work. It will make it grow, it will make it better. And it's like this. It's it's a principle that is embedded in the scriptures. It's very sort of like so common, we all know it, but we don't pay attention to it. It says, do unto others what you expect others to do unto you. It's a very simple thing. It's a very simple technique, I'll put it. Our problem is we don't know these things. Our problem is even if we know these things, we don't work with it. We don't pay attention to it. And that is why many relationships don't work. Do unto others what you expect others to do unto you. This is clear and it tells me that for you to have a solid relationship it means that you must deny yourself. When I say deny yourself, it's not a bad thing. But it's just clear. It just lets you know that others must be first. It doesn't mean you are not first. Here's why I'm saying that. Before you actually even give to others that, that others become first, you have made yourself first. That is how the principle works. Others must be your concern, or the good of others must be your concern. Others must be your thoughts. Before you do anything, before you say anything, before you actually, whatever it is, others must be first. But the point basically is that, how can others be first whilst you are not first? That's just how it works. Basically, if you want people to speak to you well speak to them well if you want people to treat you well treat them well this this makes me understand that we have to take time for ourselves check ourselves evaluate ourselves and improve on ourselves it's like hand go hand come if you don't let your hand go you won't get I like give and you receive. The person who receives gives and you receive. At every point, at every challenge, at, at, at every junction, I must hold your hand. I must be there holding your hand. And when it gets to my turn, you'll be there holding my hand. That's just how the principle works. Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. It says this and it's clear. For you to expect other people to do something for you or to you all it is saying is that do it unto them first if you want people to love you love them first how do you love them first you have to love yourself first it's not selfish it's not selfish but you have to love yourself first love others first if it's talking about respect respect others first we're talking about whatever it is that is required of you to do for your relationship to work. Do it first unto others. Do it first unto others. Do unto others what you expect others to do unto you. For this to be possible, I believe we would have to hide ourselves in our closets and work on ourselves. And work on ourselves. Let me give you an example. Many times when we start a conversation with somebody, you could probably say, hey, hi, what's up? And the person will be like, I'm fine. 
<laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, it could be that the person is in some mood. But the person forgets that it will get to her turn or his turn where he or she will reach out to you. The question is, they should ask themselves, how would they feel if the response they gave you, if you give them the same response, will it suit them? Will it be nice for them? This is how the, the, the this, is how, this is just how the principle works. Do unto me what you want me to do unto you. Talk to me well. If you are angry and you want to talk to me in an anger tone, I'll respond back the same. It's, it's like automatic. It just happens. If you are in a joyful moment and you want me to be joyful and you give me that, I'll, that's the same thing. It's like you give somebody anger. You get wrath. You get wrath back. That's just how the principle works. So moving forward, whatever you think about that others or people should do for you, think about it first and you do it for them first and you see how that goes so let's begin to practice this and um, probably check the results I'm sure it will go a long way to help so if it's in your job if it's in your family if it's in your romantic relationship and if, if, in, if it's in any form of relationship whatever you want others to do for you or unto you do it unto them first. Try it out. Try it. Do it unto them first. It doesn't hurt to be kind. It doesn't hurt to be kind. It doesn't hurt to give a lending hand. It doesn't help. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Because basically, if you give people a, hand, a helping hand, they will do it back for you. If you are kind to people, they will do it back for you. These are good qualities that we need to work on. So yeah, this brings us to the end of my session on the principle of relationship. Do unto others what you expect others to do unto you.